Jacob, Evie, it's you. Thank goodness. Experimenting, are we, Alec? Correct. And looking a bit frazzled. Nerves. It's those great oafs Starrick keeps sending around to coax me. He is offering a ridiculous amount of money. Alec, you're not thinking of jumping ship, are you? Never. I've been working in something in case they get too insistent. Uh, it's meant to stun an assailant, should they need a rise. Are you certain that it works? Uh, not as such. I I've made three of them with varying degrees of acidity and whatnot. But one must be the right formula. Let's find some Staric lackeys to target then, shall we? <laughs> Speaking of Staric, he is still transmitting false information. We could simply destroy his transmitters. His company's too well guarded. And the bombs will help, but it would be awkward to produce bombs that potentially do not stun. Oh, wait a minute. Looks like opportunity has come knocking. Oh dear, they never looked so angry before. Stand clear, Alec. Let us instead play a little linguistic game with them. Um, take the bombs and climb onto the roof. Uh, when I say the name of uh, a fruit, Toss one near the thugs. Right then. Oh, uh, oh wait, uh, I nearly forgot. Um, slip these into your boots and you will henceforth be immune to all voltaic discharge. I think. Scamps get everywhere. Listen up, Bell, or I'll thump you till your ears are ringing. Ooh, a pun. Your wordplay delights me. And to think I worried you had the mental agility of a dollop of donkey's apples. <laughs> without a cable is about as useful as a bell without a clapper. I'll give you a bleeding clapper. Well, bless my boots, you're as purple as a plum. Presence gave me courage and resolve I never knew I had. <laughs> I 
I find myself rather witty too. Well, make some more bombs and let's sort out Starek's propaganda machine, shall we? keep Staric from spewing out false information, the more we can upload him with the truth about his operations. Let's get to it, then. Would you believe my mother says there are still some wives in her street that swear by that soothing stuff? So I took it upon myself to tell her neighbors the truth about the obnoxious draft. Good on you, Alan. But you can't go knocking on everyone's door. No, I wasn't always welcome. It shows how false information can be as difficult to stamp out as fishwives and profanities of villains do. <laughs> or rats in the sewers. But if we can eradicate the source that continually feeds such detrimental trash, then little by little the truth will take the upper hand and the sham will be flushed out. Let's crack on. Here we are. We will have to get in without being detected now. While well, I stun them, you sneak inside. I shall destroy not one, but three parts of the transmitter. He'll be as good as dancing before a public toilet without a penny. Easy does it. Have to cross over here. I see. This is becoming rather perilous, to say the least. to the next part, Alec. Jacob Evie, 
thanks are once again in order for supporting what is most dear to me and to our cause, freedom of speech. It's a blessing that you employ your genius for the common good, Alec. However, I suggest you vacate your workshop. No need. Not now you've given me sacks full of courage. And besides, what with my little devices, I have all the protection I need. Uh, should you find yourselves with a moment to spare, do a drop by. <laughs> uh... <laughs>
Mr. Fry, I told you to make an appointment. My schedule was open. You're fortunate I like you. <laughs> Internal combustion engines. Eight small syllables that mean a great deal of money. The engines will be delivered to Milner by train. Secure them for me, and he will be devastated. Hmm. I need a second train to pull this off. And I think I know just the man. So we have a deal, Mr. Fry? You're fortunate I like you, Miss Attaway.
escape me! He's here! Taking my shot! I wonder if he understands that he remains visible. <laughs> So, what do you want, Fry? What makes you so sure I want something? Perhaps I saved you out of the kindness of my own heart. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let me tell you about the job. Miller's pulling a lot of cargo there. Just be sure to make the transfer. Give him help. We don't have all day. Get cracking.
Fade you to be dogs. What are you waiting for, friends? Get moving. The internal combustion engine. The end of horse-drawn transport. <laughs> it's like gazing into the future. What is the going rate for the future, do you think? Uh, we're not selling them. You're giving them to your contact? You'd be paid all the same. <laughs> Who is this Pearl, anyway? How long have you been working with her? She's a business partner. That's all you need to know. James, I hope I didn't make it too laddy da. Slap some gold leaf here and there. I gave the wood a splash of shellac. I've holstered the lot. And how do you like the lampshades? few days when I've been doing my round, some bampot starts following me. Nervous looking laddie. Oh, oh. He's up to any good. Tell you what. rounds as usual. If he appears, I'll keep an eye on him. When we return, put him into the train. Aye. All right.
Judas. Take care. There's a gang out looking for you. Ugh, not at all. Just one gleek at laddie following me. You certain? Certain as can be. Let's not forget where we are. Blockheads around here have big ears. There he is. The rascal. Trouble is brewing. Is that normal? You damn pillock. Uh, sorry, but that woman's from an important gang. Gang? What gang's that? I think it's in a train. Sounds like the bastards will be okay, look. Alert the lads on the rooftops. We'll take her out. to get you. No, some Egypt can't even follow me proper. No, they're dangerous. There might be an ambush in the station. Could you find them? Can you be daft? I must get to the station before Agnes does.
then? Now, what's happening with the fellow who's following Agnes? Nigel, Nigel Bumble. Why were you following us? I, I want to join your gang. Ah, oh, for Christ's sake, he knows who we are now. <laughs> All right, laddie. I can use you to tidy up the train a bit, if you didn't mind getting dirty. Really? Terrific. Uh, you won't regret it, miss. Okay. 